Hi guys, um, we're just uh, taking a few moments just to tell you about a, an exciting new product. Well, it's, in, it's exciting if you like a bit of tech. Um, and normally it's reserved just for the roadies out there, but now we have a suitable product for gravel and mountain bikers as well. So uh, you probably already know, if you follow the scene, you already know because uh, it's been uh, a lot of the other players have been banging on about it, but Garmin have uh, released a brand new power pedal. Um, gone are the Vectors. Um, they had a bit of a checkered history. The Vector 3, to be fair, was pretty good. Uh, it got a lot of the issues that had troubled them in the past out of the way. Uh, I've got a pair myself, they haven't broken, so it's proven, tested. Um, but um, what Garmin have done now is got rid of the Vectors and started um, afresh, really, to a certain point. Now they've gotten rid of all the niggles and everything else, they've now decided to launch a brand new pedal. So, which is the Rally. Strange name, yeah, I'm sure it means something to Garmin somewhere, but to us, you think of one brand when you say rally. Um, that rally bike. That rally bike, yes, uh, but it's not. It's uh, rally, spelt R-A-L-L-Y, so different. Uh, brand new pedals, um, and a couple of big things straight away is, uh, traditionally, it was always Keo suited, but now you have an SPD-L system. So Shimano system is, is now back. That's all to do with an old patent that was on the Garmin pedal, uh, the Shimano pedals. That patent's gone out now. So Garmin have jumped on board and now doing an SPDL version, which is which is big news for those people that want to stick with the uh, traditional Shimano system. The next big news is the fact that they now have a mountain bike version or gravel Ooh. version if you are if that way inclined, or touring if you prefer that that setup. Um, and uh, yeah, we've been waiting for this for a long time, really, a mountain bike version. A lot of people end up going for stages, crank, uh, or crank arms and, and other various options um, that uh, do cost a lot of money, not very functional to a certain point if you want to swap them between bikes and everything. So really good news that finally uh, Garmin have been able to do a SPD version. Um, so uh, just show you the pedals as the phone starts ringing in the background. So this is the mountain bike version. First initial appearance is the fact that it's bigger than your standard um, SPD uh, Shimano version. No surprise there, it's got a lot more inside it. Um, but uh, one big thing is it's, it's a solid piece of kit. Uh, reading the specs on the, uh, on the SPD, the first, first fear is, oh actually, is it gonna break? Is it gonna smash off a rock? Things like that. It's got a lot of tech inside that to, if it does take a hit, um, it's, uh, it doesn't break straight away or anything like that. It actually reboots and, and uh, adjusts to suit, um, should we say. Um, the other thing is, is the fact that actually the axle within the, in the pedal is exactly the same as the road versions. So if you buy a kit at one of these and you fancy turning it to a road version, you need to stop mountain biking, then you can actually buy a body and convert it to a road version, whether it be a Keo or SPDL or anything like that. So that's quite a good, uh, neat little trick that they've done there. It's not as quick as just taking one out, putting another one in. Uh, there is a little bit involved. It's probably a 15, 20 minute job, um, but you can do it. So it's not something you'll go, oh yeah, I'm gonna ride a different bike this morning. Uh, let's change my pedals. No, you wouldn't do that at all. Um, like with before, Christopher. Uh, like with before, you they do a double-sided and a single-sided version. Um, what does that mean? Uh, in effect, you get two pedals in a box. Single-sided, it's got power on one side only. Double-sided, it's got power on both sides. So if you're really into your numbers, you want the exact uh, detail of what you're doing, then you buy the double-sided. You pay for it, but you buy the double-sided. If I'm being honest, most people, single-sided uh, is enough. Um, so at the moment, we've got um, mainly double-sided in. Actually, we've only got double-sided in, <laughs> uh, but single-sided are on the way uh, very soon. Uh, so that's the mountain bike pedal. Really cool about that. Um, quite excited and you know, for various reasons. But if you're a bit like me, really, I, I, I don't like road pedals. Never used road pedals until about a couple of years ago. I was happy with mountain bike pedals, but I wanted power, so I had to switch to road pedals. Now I've got a reason to go back. Simple, easy, straightforward. Uh, here's the road version. Um, doesn't look as fancy as the other one. Doesn't look as fancy, but in effect, really, it actually looks pretty much identical 
uh, to the previous version, the Vector 3s. Um, it's not the same, uh, but better battery seal on, the, on here. It's now a aluminium cup that threads inside with a seal on the end rather than a plastic one that leaked before. That was one of the big, big issues. Uh, new circuit board inside um, is more reliable and uh, better on the batteries as well. So although the external part looks pretty much identical, it's actually now, it's a different pedal completely. Um, and unlike where the other version, you can see the little flash in there. Yep. But you will do. There we go, there's it flashing. Um, the old version was uh, notorious for you spending a load of money on a pair of pedals and then you get them out of the box and the battery was already dead. Uh, whereas uh, these are, this is one of the, the functions that Garmin apparently worked really hard on to ensure that actually it's more reliable. So there we go. A um, couple of quick uh, questions on compatibility. Um, the SPD version will use and work with SPD Shimano cleats. So you don't necessarily have to change to a Garmin cleat, although they do do a Garmin cleat. It's the same as the Shimano one. Uh, it's just got Garmin written on it. Simple as that. Uh, same goes for the uh, SPDL version. So you can stick to your red cleats, yellow cleats, depending on what you want. Although there is a pair in the box that you can swap over. And same goes for the for the uh, Kios as you've always done before. Uh, price wise, not cheap. Here we Here go. Here we go. Here's the problem bit. So uh, Kio double pack SPD Shimano double pack. £970 Ooh. for dual sided, single sided, I believe he's just short of the 500 quid mark. So not that much more expensive than last year, but a little bit more. Mountain bike goes up a little bit, a bit more metal in here. Uh, so double sided, £1,059. Wow. Quite a bit of cash. Single sided. Is it worth it? Uh, I'm going to get some. So, uh, but I'll probably get single-sided. Um, single-sided, about 550 quid. So, you know, there is a, they're not the cheapest, um, but hey, now a good pair of pedals. Shimano Ultegra pedals, about 150 quid now. So you're not that much more to get your power system as well. Um, uh, reliable, functional, good guarantee on them, as Garmin always do. Um, and you can train with power, man. So all those swift bandits that have been on the uh, trainer all week, all winter can now get it on the road. Hey, love it. So there we go. Any questions, come and see us. If you want to come up and uh, pick them up and feel them and touch them, uh, come to your local store. We're here. We've got them in stock uh, and we'll answer any questions we can. Thank you very much.